All right. Hang on one second. I have to look something up here because now we're going to get into the questions this week. And um, there's a point that somebody's bringing. It's a point that somebody's bringing up about guns. And they're doing it in the usual way that people do it on the Internet, where they insult the other person. And I just want to make sure I have the definition of something up here. Okay. Bullshit AR-15 response to goat guy. <clears throat> For those of you who don't listen all the time, um, you know, I, I, you know, there's a whole gun debate. Why do you need an AR-15? So I was asking people that have AR-15s. I said, why do you have one? And don't give me that bullshit about fucking, you know, home defense and all of that crap. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, you, you could, I mean, you could literally have a 22. Who the fuck? Anybody want to get shot by a fucking 22? I would have a 22. I did a whole bit on that just because I don't want to fucking blow my eardrums out. I mean, a fucking BB gun. You know, with one of those little fucking CO2 cartridges. You shoot somebody in the fucking face with that thing. And what are they going to do? They're going to keep walking through that? They can go down the street and just not have to worry about anything when they walk into that house? I don't know. Anyways. Oh, you know, or to fight off the government. That's my other famous one. Uh, that's another, my other favorite one. You're going to fight off the government with your fucking semi automatic gun here? The whole government. You're going to fight them all off? Um, I got a lot of bullets, motherfucker. All right. So anyway, so this guy ends up writing in saying that he uh, was a sheep farmer or whatever, goat farmer or something like that. Yeah, goat farmer. And uh, he uses the milk to make um, Parmesan Reggiano and he also, or some whatever the fuck he used, like two different types of cheese. I forget what the other kind, but both delicious types of cheese. And there's all these coyotes and they hunt in packs and he's shooting at a moving target and it just made fucking sense. So then somebody else wrote back, ah, that's bullshit. Just get some fucking dogs. They'll fight off the coyotes. Coyotes are cowards. This guy's full of shit. And to be randomly killing coyotes like that is, you know, mean and all that. <clears throat> so this guy is responding to the person that responded to the guy. Because I was impressed with that guy when he said, that this is why I use it. And I'm going, well, no shit, that makes sense. And I like that cheese, so God bless you. Kill those coyotes, right? Um so anyways, this guy's responding to the person that said that that guy still didn't need the gun. He could just get a couple of dogs. So anyways, he said, hey, Bill, I'd like to say to the guy's response about just buy dogs instead of an AR-15 does not know what the fuck he's talking about. First of all, it's not a machine gun, you dumb cunt. It's semi-automatic rifle, meaning you pull the trigger once and one bullet fires. Okay, now do you see how he just made his point? It's not a machine gun, you dumb cunt. It's a semi-automatic rifle. You should say it's not a machine gun, it's semi-automatic. And then you should explain what semi-automatic means. All right? Semi-automatic doesn't just mean that you just pull the trigger and one bullet fires, because then literally a fucking thirty-eight is semi-automatic. Doesn't that mean like you can, you can actually pull the trigger quickly, faster? where it won't get jammed or something like that. I mean, there's something different between just a fucking revolver, a semi-automatic, and fully automatic. I don't know shit about guns, right? But isn't there? So I looked up semi-automatic firearm. It says this, and without calling anybody a dumb cunt, you're just not informed. There's a lot of information in the world. You can't have it all between your ears. A semi-automatic firearm or a self-loading firearm is one that not only fires a bullet each time the trigger is pulled, but also performs all steps necessary to prepare it to discharge again, assuming cartridges remain in the firearm feed device. Typically, this includes extracting and ejecting the spent cartridge case from the firing chamber, recocking the firing mechanism, and loading a new cartridge into the fire firing chamber to fire again the trigger is released to fire again the trigger is released and repressed again all right so now let me ask you this so is is a 38 because the revolver turns is that considered semi-automatic now i'm just confused semi-automatic let me look up let me, let me look this up. Is a revolver 
You know what's funny? People who are into gun right now, the amount of people that are, are listening to me like I'm a fucking moron. Like, this means that they're better at math. It's like, I, I don't own guns. I don't know anything about this shit. If you didn't know anything about drums, I wouldn't make fun of you because you didn't know what a fucking hi-hat was. Is, is a revolver semi-automatic? Let's see here. And he hits search, and it takes two hours. A revolver which uses multiple chambers and a single barrel... And a Derringer, which uses multiple chambers and multiple barrels, also fire one round per trigger pull, but achieve this in different ways and as such are not classified as being semi-automatic. Semi-automatic pistols. A semi-automatic pistol is a type of pistol that is semi-automatic. I swear to God, that's the first statement. Meaning it uses the energy of the fired cartridge to cycle the action of, of the firearm and advance the next available cartridge into position. So basically, if I don't have some revolutionary war thing that it's just like I, I put a bullet in, shoot, and then put another bullet in, or I don't have to do that cocking thing that you always see with the sniper rifles. All right, so this is sort of a basic gun then. This is like a car with power windows and power brakes and power steering. Like most cars have that now. Is that basically what you're saying when you were calling this guy a dumb cunt? He's not a dumb cunt. I bet that that guy, what if this guy, what if he's a veterinarian? That doesn't mean you're a dumb cunt. All right. You should have said you uninformed cunt. How about that? Can we, can we meet in the middle there? You can still call him a cunt, but just use the correct ad- adjective. Um, Anyways, just like most rifles and handguns these days. Oh, he actually explained it to me if I considered continued reading. Okay. Uh, first of all, it's not a machine gun, you dumb cunt. It's a semi-automatic rifle, meaning you pull the trigger once and one bullet fires, just like most rifle and handguns these days. Right off the bat, you know this guy doesn't know what he's talking about and probably never shot a gun in his life. Fair enough. You're all, that's all good. I usually wouldn't be this hostile, but hey, I had a few drinks and I'm passionate about this subject. All right, fair enough. Uh, anyway, I believe his argument was to buy a fleet of dogs to protect your livestock. He didn't say a fleet. He said, you know, get like two or three. He said, get the fuck out of here. You know how expensive trained dogs are to protect your livestock? I'm Well, do you or are you just drunk at a bar throwing this out? I mean, Christ, purebred German shepherds are eight to nine hundred dollars around here. Now you're a moron. No one's getting a German shepherd to. Per- you get like a fucking sheepdog or a. Or a uh, uh, Christ, one of my buddies has one of those dogs. They're smart as shit. I forget the name of the dog. You wouldn't. You seen? And now you don't know about dogs. You dumb cunt. <laughs> you uninformed cunt. God knows what a fucking fleet of dogs costs, not to mention the food and attention you have to give them. AR-15 prices are going down every day, and with ammo well under 50 cents a round, you'd have to be a dumbass, oh, Jesus, parentheses, or a liberal, not to use this. All right, and right there, your whole argument is out the window. Anybody who classifies all conservatives or Republicans or all liberals or democrats is morons right there you know what i mean that's kind of like what i was doing earlier when i was talking about how bad the officiating was against the bruins however i did bring up that you know marshawn should have got a fucking misconduct for uh, taking that guy's knees out um and i did say that straight across the board it was it's been really fucking unprofessional um however but if i were to just sit there and say all the bad calls went against us I mean, I don't know. I would be, I mean, what, what, what kind of fucking world, what kind of dumbass or a liberal? <laughs> you get it? Because they're dumbasses. And I just made them out to all be Southerners. Like everybody down South is a dumbass, which is not true. Mark Twain, you know what I mean? That guy was so smart. He wrote all those books in Kentucky Fried Chicken, had that guy dressed just like him. In conclusion, he said, in conclusion, as if he's, he's, he's made this great argument. Uh, I think there is a huge lack of education on firearms in the U.S. today. He actually wrote in the us today. He didn't capitalize the U.S. Um, I would 
100% agree with that. At the end of the day, the AR-15 is the most effective tool for a lot of jobs. Uh, P.S. I saw you in Nashville. Your final bit fucking killed. Love you and go fuck yourself. Sincerely, your freedom-loving fans in Nashville. Uh, dude, you know something? I got to be honest with you. Uh, I agreed with your points. But when you said dumbass or liberal and the fact that you said freedom-loving like, who doesn't love to be free? You know what I mean? Are you another one of these pe- pe- people that thinks that ISIS is a major threat to a first world country with their no plane, no boat, no uniform, no real weaponry, modern weaponry, fucking army? You know what I mean? Do you think if ISIS was uh, living in the Badlands, we would even waste a fucking second of our goddamn tax dollars to try and stop them? There's plenty of fucking cunts out there. They're just not sitting on top of a bunch of fucking oil. Freedom loving. You fucking, you know something? You, you really, you, you, you really lost me there. I mean, if you don't agree with me, I guess you just don't like freedom. Oh, boy. What? I, I, the amount of people that are drinking that fucking Kool-Aid 15 years into this fucking thing. It's a liberation. They have weapons of mass destruction. They've changed it like 90 fucking times. And I'm so sick of the fact that you can't criticize what the fuck. We're, those fucking broke ass cunts over there are going to bankrupt us. How long can you spend $700 billion a fucking year? At some point, we're going to have to pay for that. I'm going to have to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. Our kids, their kids, and all of that. Jesus fucking Christ. Over a bunch of jerk-offs with a bag of M80s. It's unfucking believable It's unbelievable. You know why we're over there. Saddam knew why we went over there. He lit it on fire before we got there. But you can't say that anymore in this country, because if you do, that means you're an ISIS or you're a socialist or some shit like that. It's just fucking, it's unbelievable. It's unfucking believable Meanwhile, this place is going to hell in a handbasket with a nationwide heroin epidemic. Our food supply is fucking poison, and the bankers got the houses back so they can cook the economy again. All of that is fine. All of that is fine. But if you tell jokes at a fucking presidential, whatever the fuck that is, the whole goddamn world stuff is the whole. 